Well, hello, hello, hello. We are at the uh, big deal here on uh, Frank Rudin Park, uh, Central Florida Metal Detecting uh, Fall Hunt. Uh, this is uh, sponsored by Myers Metal Detectors. And as you see right there is the uh, table. There's Metal Detector Guru right there. There's Miss Jocelyn right there. She's the cheese. And you can see it's not supposed to start till three, but there's an awful lot of people here already. So, I think it's gonna be a good day. It's very windy. But you can see a lot of people coming to support, uh, bringing canned goods to enter for the hunt that uh, you know goes to very good cause uh, this is for a separate one you got a and uh, so we'll just kind of film it a little bit and then uh, as it goes along I'll uh, I'll bring you back in and out we'll see what we see okay now Guru you're on Daytona Beach for the uh, first annual Thanksgiving hunt with the Central Florida Metal Detector Club and also every other club in the state of Florida. So come on down. Uh, if you don't make it this year, for sure check us out next year. But uh, we can help you with any metal detector accessory or anything you possibly need for treasure hunting. Just give me a call 813 237 1939. And if you have any questions, just holler at me. We've got the best prices, and if we don't have you, and you're a white dealer, the uh, number one white dealer in the state of Florida, I think. Yes, sir. Number one uh, local white dealer in probably uh, lower 15 states. Yes, I would think so. Yeah. yeah we, we sell a lot of their products, and of course, that's who's sponsoring our hunt with me today. And we've got Top Prize MX4, so we got the Kids Venture uh, X Detector, and we got a lot of shirts, and a lot of, uh, let's see, the White Steel X Pinpointer, and some diggers, and all kinds of stuff. Yeah, all, if you ain't here, you don't need it. There you go. So, anything else you want to let the folks know? Uh, just call me if they want the best price, because that's, we've got the best prices in the country. Alrighty, we know that. So we'll be back in and just show you folks what's going on here. I mean, you know, like I said, this thing don't start till 3 o'clock. And look at the amount of people here already. And, uh, you know, bringing canned goods for their entry fee. Um, I mean, it's going to be a great deal. Great thing. Great, great thing. So we'll be back in and out all the time. We'll get back to you. Okay, we're back. There's a whole bunch of people coming and going. You can see them all out here. Just kind of show you what's going on. I was talking to a couple of friends of mine from uh, uh, New Age Goonies. You see all guys out there. They're ready to hunt. It's families and with their kids. And there's a, there's all kinds of different detectors. You got Mind Lab. You got Equinoxes. You got AT Pros. I mean, you name it, and you got it out here. CTXs. Uh, just a whole bunch a lot of equinoxes a lot of ET AT pros But just a whole bunch of people all out having a good time and uh, A lot of these folks are basically relic hunters, but they're going to be on the beach today And it's going to be a good time for everybody and there's Fisher products and and whites products and uh, You name it and it's here and these people are out here to have a good time and there's Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Guru. So people are signing in. As this, you know, this is uh, sponsored by Myers Metal Detectors, sunny Tampa, Florida. If he don't have it in stock, you probably don't need it. So I'll get back to you when the things begin. Oh, 
Well, there you go. You just got the rules. We'll be back. Here we go. Now they look around. Are people registering for the, the free stuff from uh, Myers Metal Detectors? Or I guess they're going to give away M M MX Sport, which is a great detector. They got a lot of good stuff. There's the guru over there. He's doing holding court. And uh, it should be starting up here pretty soon, as you can hear. Hope the wind's not too bad. But it is a little breezy today. A little bit breezy. So I'm going to walk out and you can kind of get a look at the, the waves. It's even worse than it was this morning when I was hunting. So let's go take a peek and uh, see because this is where I'm going to film the hunt from. I'm not going down on the beach. And that's my prerogative because I'm an old man. Yeah, and you can drive on the beach down here. Okay. You can drive on the beach. And there's a bunch of there's still people on the beach. It's it's cloudy and it's windy. It's real windy. So I don't know where they've got the uh all the stuff planted, I'm assuming right out in here. But uh we'll find out when the hunt begins so you see there's all kinds of folks here getting ready to rock and sock gonna find some goodies and you know the thing it is all these people are just as friendly as they can be that's something about the metal detecting community everybody's got something in common regardless of age uh, you know walking life whatever y'all got something in common you can talk metal detecting and they do so I'll get back to you here when uh, the festivities begin okay here we're it's getting close getting closer they get everything uh, planted all the the uh, prizes and tokens and all that uh, for the seeded hunt have been planted out on the beach. It said it's close to a thousand So everybody ought to have a good time. I mean they got coins and all kind of stuff uh, That they planted and tokens uh, for prizes and all kind of good stuff. So It's almost time to start And people are still coming in so we've got a really good crowd and uh, pretty soon they'll be up and at them and raring to go so we'll be sure to bring that to you uh, there again central florida metal detecting club sponsored by myers metal detectors and he's the number one uh whites dealer in the uh, pretty much in half the united states the eastern part of the united states he's a great mine lab dealer uh you name it and he stocks it got the best prices going like I said, if he don't have it in stock, you probably don't need it. So, and nobody stocks more for less. So, everybody's getting ready to hunt and go after it. So, uh, we'll be back. Okay, good, good, good. We got fresh juice, fresh juice. So, we can get the rest of this deal <laughs> without having to change batteries. So, there again, just giving you a little panoramic view. People still registering. People still showing up. It's a big, big deal. They're doing it for a good cause. Uh, you bring in uh, three canned goods, and you're registered for the hunt, and uh, or you can pay ten dollars. A lot. There's a lot of canned goods being collected, and it's all for a good cause uh, to go for Bible studies and the needy. And uh, I mean, it's going to the right places. So. You know, it's well worth it. That kind of shows you about the givingness of uh, the metal detecting community and uh, the Myers metal detectors. Um, you know, they're just they're just doing a bang up job. So uh, let's go and we'll we'll wait and uh, when they call the buzzer, we'll be there.
to do this. We really appreciate you being here today. Last night we had our uh, club meeting and I'm going to tell you a little bit about Esther, the, uh, the charity that we're going to sponsor. Um, we actually offered the club the opportunity to sponsor 40 kids for Christmas, without which those kids wouldn't have a Christmas. And I'm happy to say that not only did we sponsor all 40 kids, but we also raised a thousand dollars for the charity. This food will go to that charity as well. And I'm about to tell you why. In 2010, 52% of the households in America are single parent households. 90% of those are led by a single mother. When it comes to Thanksgiving and Christmas, it becomes a very difficult time for those families. So we decided to get together and help them by providing uh, canned goods and food. Everything that you're providing today is going to go to that. And then along with the money that we got today and yesterday and, and sponsoring the kids, hopefully they'll be able to have a nicer Thanksgiving and a nicer Christmas. So everybody give yourselves a big hand. I did just want to mention some people have already came up and asked if they could give a cash donation. We're collecting it in this box if anybody wants to. I know a lot of you have already and we appreciate it. Uh, Phil, come on up. Woo! Woo! Right, Phil. The guru. Don't fall over now. It's high up here. Boy, this is a big crowd. I wanted to thank everybody for coming out. Especially I want to thank my wife who puts up with all my uh, gigging and everything else that I do. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. How are you doing? She's been tolerating my gigging for almost 40 years. So uh, I'm glad to be here representing Lights Electronics. You see all the prizes on the table that we have here. If you hadn't gotten a blue ticket, that's a free raffle ticket. So we're going to give away some t-shirts and hats. Uh, we're glad you're all here. Uh, I guess the first hunt is going to be the kids hunt. Yep. Is that correct? Yep. Okay. And then after that, we're going to have the uh, adult hunt. Uh, I'm located in Tampa, Florida. Of course, we sell metal detectors, anything you need for treasure hunting. I've got my cards here. Make sure you get one of them today. Yeah, also, yeah. we have some uh, 2019 calendars and some decals with Blackbeard on it. So if you have any questions, just uh, ask away. Yeah, they're getting ready. There's a lot of Equinoxes, AT Pros, CTXs, all kind of various detectors out here. And this is the field right along in here. So uh, we'll get up here and get ready to see all these folks do their happy dance. You're not going to do a jump? No. Hello. No. Hey, she's going to find a lot of gold. I hope so. At least a couple of tokens. <laughs> Get a free t-shirt if nothing else. Oh, uh, I want the machine. Yes. Yeah? Well, I hope the wind noise isn't too bad on this camera, folks, but uh, ain't much I can do about that. So they're getting ready to blow the whistle when they do. I'll get some footage of that. We'll be back. Okay, detectors up. They get their detectors up. Pretty soon they'll drop the flag. And they'll be off and running.
man. There's some new age goonies over there. There's a new age goonie there. That's what I just said. She's a new age goonie. There's all kinds of different clubs down here. They're getting ready. Detectors up, and they're off and running, and they are detecting away. People swinging and digging, swinging and digging. There they go, swinging and digging. Yeah, look at them go. <laughs> they're all digging too. There's a lot of tokens out here, a lot of tokens. So, <laughs> he's got the right ID, he's got him a basket there. He's just filling it up and shaking it out. I hear all kinds of beeps going on and people are out there, they're just having a good old time. They're digging. They are digging for prizes. I mean, look, there's a lot of people out here. A lot of people. And they's a digging. Day is a digging. So it's funny. I'm just gonna hush up and like watch the watch everybody. <laughs> I tell you what, if people lucky if they don't get injured out there. Now I'm telling you getting some injury <laughs> oh my goodness oh my goodness let's go down at this end a little bit and see uh, see if there's any what's going on down here <laughs> I tell you what look at this uh, this one guy out here He's got that basket on the side. He just go boom, and then all the way. Pretty soon he'll shake it down. That one right there in the brown shirt. Yeah. The bad thing about the sand today is it's uh, real wet. Yeah. So it's hard to shake it through. Yeah, this sand is always sticky down here for one reason or another. They're out there having fun. They are. They're finding some gold. Yeah, they are. They're all a digging. If it beeps, dig it, Laura. Okay, y'all have seen enough of this. Can hunt. Getting ready for detectors up. Ready. There's a lot of people here, more people here I think than it was the first time. There we go. Tector's up. Go and they're off. And they're swinging, swinging, swinging. There's Mad Gary 
He's out there. He's swinging, swinging, swinging. He's got him something. He's digging. He's usually a relic hunter, though, I think. And a damn good one. So Bruno over there, he's out there swinging and a digging. Uh, Billy's around here somewhere. A lot of the new age goonies. Uh, Ocala's got a club here. Uh, there are all kinds of clubs. And they're just having a good time. Out here swinging and a hunting and a finding stuff. I mean, all kinds of people. <laughs> that used to hoot. So I'm going to film a little bit more here. We'll get some of the uh, some more of the folks on camera here. There's an e-track there. He's got his basket to, when he digs something. Now watch that. He'll take it. Well, he's shaking it out this time, but most of the time they just take it and put it in their basket and go on. And their basket will sift it out. There, see? He's sifting it out now. So, I mean, there's, there's people, you know, he's got his walker. He's out and he's having fun. So that's what makes the difference. That's what makes all the difference. Okay. And a seated hunt like this, if it beeps, dig it. It's all about recovering as many tokens as you can recover. And various things so for beeps dig it and go on just digging in a shaking so I'll get back to you later really well it looks like Bruno find him an ear of corn there Very nice. I wanted to bury frozen turkeys, but everybody told me I didn't. I Token with a number. Okay, first I want one through ten. That's a great prize in MX Sport. Smile for the camera. <laughs> okay, who's next? 
Utility pouch. Number eight. Come on down. You should get a white utility pouch. Number nine. Thank you, Jerry. Thank you. Boy, you hold it on. Number nine, get some white spots. Thank you. And number ten. All righty. Now, starting with number 21. 21. You get to pick anything off the table. You get a choice. Okay, I guess we gotta do it quick. You should have taken the headset. What numbers are you doing? 22 through 30? That's 20 through 70. Okay. So we gotta get it quick. Okay, numbers 22 through 30. 